Hi guys, welcome back to Unite's channel. My name is Emmy and today we're going to be talking about results. Have you just got your uni results and you don't know what university or course is right for you or what you should do? Then I'm here to sort of give you a bit of a chat about my experience and everything that I wish I knew before I picked a course. So let's go into that. I only applied to one university so I didn't really have any options. I was 16, I had done my hires at the end of S5, which is your second last year of high school. It's sort of the equivalent of, I think in England, like me just doing my AS levels and then leaving. But I got enough grades and like resu my results were good. So I met the minimum requirements for uh, the university. And the course I was doing, there are not actually that many courses that do specific art and design degrees so there were very few and I knew that I wanted to live in Edinburgh so I applied for that course and I happened to get in. Um, I put all my eggs in one basket and thankfully it paid off but that's not always the case. It's pretty risky for me to do but you know if you don't get into your first choice don't worry like we put so much stress and pressure on ourselves to like go to a specific university because our friends are going there, our family went there, people want us to go there but if you didn't get into your first choice, what's meant for you won't go past you. If you were meant to be at that place, um, you would get into it. Don't worry. If you're in a situation where you haven't got into any uni courses and you really don't know what to do, uh, check clearing if you can go in via clearing. Check if you can go to college or do a diploma or a certificate for a year or two and then you can transfer into the uni course that you like. Um, a lot of people want to go to a specific uni course to do their course but don't go in so I know people that have done certain nursing courses and stuff up in Aberdeen or a different uh, city and then after two years they've been able to transfer to the specialised course that they want to do in Edinburgh or Glasgow. There are so many different options, you just need to start researching. Don't panic, it's nothing to stress about. Um, you can always take a gap year. If you're considering a gap year, it gives you time to be able to really think about what you want, where you want to be, confirm your choices, and you can always defer. So if you have offers, you can like secure the place that you think you really want to go to, but you can take a year off and your place is held. You've accepted your offer, you're going to go to that uni, but you've got a year now to take off to work, to save money, to get to know yourself a bit more and find out what it is that you want in life and then you can go back and start it. There's no need to go straight into it. Though, like a lot of people like myself like to do that, but there's no need for it. Why are you going to uni? Are you going for yourself or are you going for someone else? Are you going for your future, for your career? Is uni the be all and end all? Are there um, internships, uh, certificates, diplomas, work experience and stuff that you can do to go in in another route? A lot of universities will do like bachelor courses or masters that are only one or two years so you can go to college for two years to study and then come and like finish off your third or fourth year at the university and leave with like a double degree or something. There's just so many crazy options that like once you start going through university website courses and info you just find so much that you're just thinking why did no one ever tell me about this? The reality of uni is that 80% of the people that I have met have either switched courses or dropped out because they discovered they wanted to do something else in life. So we put too much pressure on ourselves at such a young age to have this perfect life plan and goal, but we need to go easier on ourselves. Like you've done this, you got through high school. High school to me was one of the hardest things ever. University, I love so much more, not just in terms of like, um, myself, my personal life, but also like academically because I could pick a specialised subject that I had interest in so I actually enjoyed the content and the work that I was doing. Make sure you celebrate your successes and achievements. If you're disappointed by not getting the specific grades you want, just take a step back and look at where you are today. You made it, you got through it and if you're not happy, there are ways to move on from this. There are things that can be done. Just don't put too much pressure on yourself and give yourself a pat on the back for getting this far. University is the best thing that I have personally ever done. Um, I'm about to start my masters and then I also want to do a PhD after, but that is because I love education, I love learning, I just want to be extremely qualified and just have so much 
knowledge and I, I love it. I love university. I love writing essays. I'm a bit of a weirdo for that, but I do love it. It took me two course changes, a lot of tears and hard works to get to here. Um, I now have a certificate of higher education in photography and a bachelor's in graphic design. I'm going to do my master's in strategic public relation and communication management. And then eventually I want to have my PhD. But I didn't just, you know, get straight A's, pass, get into every single uni course and then just breeze through it. It doesn't happen like that. So at the end of the day, do not stress yourself sick and be proud of yourself and how far you have come. You know, you did this congrats so i hope that this has eased your mind and brought you some clarity if you are trying to figure out what is best for you have lots of discussions with your friends and your family even if it isn't easy even just starting the conversation and opening up the idea of other options can you know do a lot more than you think so yeah i hope you get it sorted and i hope you're all happy with your results Make sure you subscribe to Unite's channel for more uni-related videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye!